Hmm. Hello, Sagittarius. This is all bright. I'm here to do your reading for January the 7th through the 14th, 2021. It's not going to resonate with everyone, so please do not get mad if it's not your story. It's going to be for the sun, the moon, rising, and Venus and Jupiter. Mm, some of you guys are going to receive a gift from the universe. Spirit of the earth, water, fire in there. So, of course, I need to see the Sagittarius for January the 7th through the 14th, 2021. Hmm. So, of course, I need to see and speak. Hmm. Someone is making a decision about you. Somebody want to be in a partnership with you. Tell me more. Hmm. Some of you guys gonna have some kind of financial and material changes. Oh, this person going through some uh, financial and material changes. This is someone of authority. Hmm. This is someone that you need to use your intuition about this person. Hmm. I see the universe. Some of you guys are receiving something we get from the universe. This person needed, uh, This person wants a partnership with you. This is someone that's going through some kind of financial uh, material changes. This is someone of authority. This is someone that's using their intuition. Or some of you guys need to use your intuition about this person. Spirit, tell me more about this. Tell me more about this, Spirit. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more for Sagittarius. Tell me more about this for Sagittarius spirit. Tell me more spirit. Spirit of the earth, water, fire in there. Tell me more about Sagittarius for the 7th through the 14th. Tell me more about this universe, partnership, financial material, authority, and intuition. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Someone that you had in the cycle with. Or someone to live across the water. Hmm. This is someone who broke your heart. Because this person was married. Or because of an Aries. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Hmm. This person want to take this leap to faith with you. Could be a Scorpio, or this is someone that you definitely had to end with this person. Or somebody's in this energy. Yep, this person wants a celebration with you. This person wants a reunion with you. This is someone who could have ghost you. This is someone that's trying to be patient. This person wants to take things to the next level. So you got somebody coming in, Sagittarius. You could be a Libra, an Aries, um, a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Leo. Hmm. This person want to take a, a leap to faith. And this person want a reunion with you. This is someone who ghosts you. But this person coming back want to take things to the next level with you. This is someone very indecisive about you. You could have been married. Um, you could be married to this person or you used to be married to this person. This could be a Taurus. This is someone of authority. This could be your uh, mother of your kids or your father of your kids. This person was very indecisive about you. This person is trying to control their emotions. This person is making a decision or working on things with you. Because that person do see you as this empress. All the queens roll into one. They like the way you look, how you dress. They like, they like everything about you. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more, spirit. This is someone that was hiding something from you. Some of you guys are dealing with Pisces. This person wants a long-lasting relationship with you. Hmm. They want to come back. Some of you guys got some choices. Hmm. Right, spirit. Hmm. Spirit, how does Sagittarius feel about this person trying to come back into their life? How does Sagittarius feel about this person trying to come back into their life, Spirit? 
from the 7th through the uh, 14th. Mm, some guys want victory with this person. You want victory. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more. You feel like this person is a missed opportunity. Hmm. You want to send that person a message that they're going to like. Some of you guys will make a decision, work on things with this person. Because you do see this person as your twin flame. Spirit, how does this person deep down in their heart, how do they really feel about Sagittarius? Hmm. How do they really feel about Sagittarius? Hmm. It, what they feel about you, they had let you go. Tell me more. Because you were too flirty? They feel like you were too flirty. Tell me more. And they wanted something serious. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more. Mm, they, they wanted something serious that's going to last. And they wanted, they were looking for a loving, happy family. Hmm. Spirit, tell me more about this King of Wands. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. They feel like you were juggling. Okay. Well, how they feel about you? This person felt like they let you go, but they feel like you were juggling them and someone else. They feel like you was like, you know, too flirty. And they wanted something more stable. They wanted something that's going to last because they want, they were looking for a loving, happy family. But they felt like you were juggling them and someone else. That's how they feel about you. Spirit, is this person still attracted to Sagittarius? Show me points I need to see. Yes, this person coming in to romance you. <laughs> this person coming in that knows what they're doing. This person coming in to sweep you off your feet because this person wants a stable relationship with you. They want something, uh, uh, they want a happy family, happy life, and I'm worried about money. The person want a passionate new beginning with you. Yeah, this, this person trying to control their emotions because this person is feeling left out in the cold by someone, a queen of wands, someone they was very attracted to. This is someone they had took this leap to faith with this person. Spirit. The person that's trying to come back in Sagittarius, like this person still... Hmm... Sorry about that, Sagittarius. They say they be stressed out, very depressed because this person acted distant, live at a distance. This is someone they try, they was hoping for. This is person could be the mother of their kids or someone needs to be married to or committed to. This is why that person keep going back to this other person. Some of you guys wonder why this, pe this person keep leaving you to go to this other person because they stressed out. The person live at a distance or they acting distant toward them. Mmm. Mmm. Did you cheat it on your ex like you did me? Did you cheat it on your ex like you did me? Show me cause I need to see. It says yes. An empress. Someone they saw was an empress. There was some deception going on. Hmm. This is someone they're trying to make a final, uh, a difficult decision about. Hmm. They cheated on someone because because that person could be this person could be pregnant, or they see this person as someone very abundant. There was some deception going on. They had to make a, a very difficult decision. Tell me more about this Empress and the Seven of Sword. Tell me more about this Empress and the Seven of Sword. They said they made a decision because this person was an empress. Very beautiful. Or this person could be pregnant. 
Mm, that's why there was some de uh, deception going on. This is someone that had made a very difficult decision about. This is someone they received a very passionate message from this person about committing. So, they cheated on this other, the, the one to keep leaving you for, they have cheated on their, them also. Mm -hmm. They cheated on the one they left you for also. And this person could be uh, pregnant. That's why they had to make a very difficult decision about this person. Could be that person was very abundant or this person was pregnant. They had made a very difficult decision about. They probably got somebody pregnant. <laughs> Spirit. What does a balanced relationship look like to them? The one that's trying to come back to Sag Sagittarius life. What does a balanced relationship look like to, to them? Show me a cross I need to see. Uh-uh. Show me a cross I need to see and speak. Hmm. Breaking someone heart. That is your soulmate. And cut this person out of their out of their uh, out of their life. Tell me more. And be in and out. Cause this person nurturing and caring, too nurturing and caring and giving. Okay, this is crazy. What does a balanced relationship look like to them? To break to break this break their soulmate, someone they see as they soulmate heart. And cut this person out of their life and be in and out because this person is too nurturing and caring and giving. This is what a balanced, a balanced relationship look like to them. Well, well, if you if you're real nice, this person gonna be in and out your life because they because you allow them to come back. This is what they feel like a balanced relationship is is to break your heart because you because they see you as their soulmate, cut you out of their life, be in and out because you're too nice. Some of y'all need to put your foot down. Hmm. Hmm. The person that's trying to come back in Sagittarius life, what do they have to say to Sagittarius right now? What do they want to say to Sagittarius right now? The ones that want to come back into Sagittarius life, what do they want to say to him? Spirit, what do they want to say? I'm feeling very remorseful. Because I do see you as a, a, a good partner for me. I want to move to common waters with you. Because I'm still holding on to you. Sorry that I betrayed you. I was hiding things. Keeping a secret. With someone that I had planted my seed with. This is someone I fought for the relationship with this person. Because I did see this person as someone grounded and loyal. This is someone that I was thinking about. This is someone I was committed to. This is someone I saw the sunshine. I saw happiness with this person. But now, I'm feeling my repercussions of my actions. Because I was holding back from you. I didn't call you. I didn't text you. I didn't do, I didn't do any of that. I'm feeling my repercussions of my actions. Because I was holding back. And I do want to apologize to you. Because I was very in, indecisive about you. That's why I was hiding things from you. This is why I took a break from you. This is why I'm trying to be patient. Okay, you guys. Your person has spoken. Okay. Spirit, what's over our energy for this reading? What's over our energy? What's over our energy? Someone that you had a time with this person. This is someone who walked away from you. Or the words can't, the roles can't be reversed. And the person walked away. For someone that's very controlling and have a big ego. This is someone they saw was they wish. This is someone they wanted a long lasting relationship with this person. This is someone they wanted to balance things out with this person. This is someone they want to move forward with this person. But this person was toxic. The person they was dealing with, this person was, uh, was toxic. 
They had a lot of arguments. They had a lot of drama. And this person want to come in and speak the truth to you about this. About someone that they didn't trust. So you got somebody coming back and want to speak the truth to you. That's if you're going to accept this person or not. Because <laughs> they ideal of a balanced relationship look like to them is crazy. Okay? If you're new to my channel, hey. <laughs> If you need a personal reading for me, all the information is down below in the description box. Some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Until next time, bye-bye.